that I was able to get it a little bit more speed. If I turn this motor down and raise it just right to get that extra speed. That was pretty that's winding pretty good there. Yeah. Probably need thicker wires here. These are very thin uh, speaker wires being connected. So it might be maxed out. I might have to add a thicker wire. That's humming there. Good to me. I did add a magnet to the back. I don't know if it does anything. It definitely slowed the motor down. Try to get that back up there. Nice and quiet right there. Looks like more light right there. That's spinning pretty good right now. Just under 12 volts, lighting that bulb. I don't know if that magnet's doing anything. Nice. All right. Thanks for watching, anyway. The motor. A little bit, it's getting a little bit hot. So, definitely would have to add a fan here to keep that cool. We have to add a fan here to keep this cool. You know, it's not red hot, but it's definitely getting hot. And I have another connection to run a fan, maybe a PC fan. Okay, so I just added some magnets for weight to weigh this motor down a little bit. It sounds much quieter. And I have two lights going. There we go. Just to bring this up, to bring this out a little bit, and so I can adjust this back a little bit. So we got two lights going. Probably. Not 100% brightness, but they are pretty bright, as you can see. Okay, put it in the light. Okay, so they're throwing some light. Just need a cooling fan here on the motor. So it's, it's, it's hot, you know. I'm sure it would be more efficient if it wasn't hot. I'm looking for a step up uh, inverter. 
try to find something. I had one, but I blew it. Doing arcs and sparks. Let's see the temperature here. I mean, it's, it's got a little hotness to it, but it's not burning my finger, you know. Let me check this one. This one's very cool. Cooling my finger, actually. From the hotness of this. Not bad. Pretty cool. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing an update on this. Uh, I'd like to get the lights a little bit brighter, but I'm happy with it. Because this is all I have is the 12 volts coming out. And running this vacuum cleaner, this is a, a 120 uh, motor. I'm actually surprised it's even hot because it's not spinning at 100%, you know. So it is kind of hot. But not burning my finger. Let's see what I could do. I think a fan would be help this out a whole lot. And thanks for watching. Okay, you all know what this is, right? It's from a pump. I'm going to see if it's tuned properly. If I hit it in the right spot. Oops, got stuck, guys. It's hard to hear with that music in the background. My game. There you go. <laughs> Finely tuned right there. Hey, okay, I'm back. So I found another bulb. Let's turn it on. The lights come on. The motor's a little quieter now. I don't know, it looks like something shifted. Oh, that's better. Not too bad at all. So anyway, basically, I don't think there's enough power coming out of here, out of the pump, to even create a spark gap, you know? It's enough to light these LEDs, but not 100%. And I'm going to start this tonight and see how much light it actually gives off. I was just playing with something else here that didn't really pan out for me. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to come back out tonight and I'll do a follow-up on this video. And give this another run. See, it takes time. Boom, there we go. And it's really hard to get a spark gap. Even though it is throwing out some light, we're going to light this up tonight and see how well it does. There we go. Huh. Yeah. It's a rainy day, I can't get in a wood split or anything, so working on the pump and finally replaced these two wires. They were really in bad shape. I'll show you the clips over here. They were in bad shape there. So this came off the washing machine, uh, these wires. That I actually got the pump from, this just newer pump. Uh, which I have a problem getting that hard plastic off the inside, so I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to work on that part, so. And let me see. Here's the washing machine motor. It's set up for something else, but this is what it was. I'm not sure what this is. 
I don't know if this is a capacitor. I have no idea. But that's where I got the two yellow wires from a wash machine. So I have a solid connection. A little thicker wire on there. A little bit brighter. I actually see the little red thing glowing there. And a little bit longer wire because this board is vibrating a lot. So the light is still, it's not flickering or anything. A little bit brighter. So the pump's doing pretty good. It looks kind of empty here, but I definitely got the light shining. It's shining on my hand, you know. See, we'll see how it does tonight. I'm going to hook up another bulb on there. So I just wanted to show you that little update here that I did. Got rid of those stupid speaker wires, those thin things. And got a good solid connection now. I don't have to worry. Hey YouTube. I actually hooked up this little device here. I have the power coming into it and power coming back out into the light. Going back into the light and this one comes up to the ground. So let's see if the bulb's brighter. Oh, it looks brighter to me. I don't know. Does that look brighter? Uh, oh, shoot. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just hitting the switch here, that's all. Well, it looks brighter to me. Let's see what happens. I'm going to monitor this. Uh, the bulb does, does seem brighter to me. And maybe it's stepping up the current a little bit in the capacitor there. I'm not sure. Guys, let me know what this thing is. It's out of a wash machine. It had these two wires, these two yellow wires connected to it, but I connected them here. See what happens. Seems a little brighter to me. The motor's a little quieter. That looks pretty good. And I'll uh I'll get I'll holler at you later. <laughs>